viewers welcome to the video lecture series on machine learning uh, the topic of discussion is on multiple linear regression in previous session and previous to previous session you have seen about linear regression and in linear regression you have seen both the methods so in this session i shall explain the theory behind the multiple linear regression and i shall also solve an example let me begin now in linear regression we have one dependent and one independent so this we have seen in the previous session in the given data set there were values of x given and values of y given so x was your independent variable and y is your dependent variable in multiple regression we have multiple independent variables and one dependent variable so we can expect that in the data set if you are having multiple independent variables not just x you will be having x1 x2 x3 and of course there will be one dependent variable that since there are multiple independent variables the equation that is resulting out of it will also be called as multiple linear regression model let us see now the multiple regression of two variables x1 and x2 so the multiple regression of two variables x1 and x2 is given as y equal to f of x1 comma x2 so here if i am using lower case x let me use here also lower case x only x1 and x2 so this y is given by y equal to a0 plus a1 into x1 plus a2 into x2 in general this can be given for n independent variables so i can write down y equal to f of x1 comma x2 comma up till xn so the equation will also be y equal to a0 plus a1 into x1 plus a2 into x2 up till a n into x n plus epsilon here here in this above equation x1 x2 x n are denoting what all the independent variables y is your dependent variable and epsilon is the error term also we have in the equations a0 a1 a2 a3 up till a n so this a0 a1 a2 a n are the coefficients of the regression equation in linear regression in the previous sessions since there was only one independent variable the equation was y equal to a0 plus a1 into x or you can write down even in this manner y equal to a1 into x plus a0 so you were finding out the coefficients a0 and a1 now since we are going for multiple variables then the number of coefficient will also get increased may let me solve an example here the problem statement will be given like this the data set for the product sales product 1 and product 2 is given below the weekly sales for each of these products is also given find the multiple regression model so here in the data set x1 and x2 two variables are given these two are the independent variables and y is the dependent variable x1 is representing the sales of one particular product product 1 x2 represents the sales of another product product 2 y which is the dependent variable is giving you the details of the weekly sales for the product 1 and product 2 these are the weekly sales okay weekly sales values are given here in the third column that is the dependent variable now how to proceed for the solution now this solution you need to carry out using the matrix approach so the same procedure you need to follow here so you are going to get all the coefficients stored in the matrix a so the final resultant matrix will have the coefficients a0 the values of the coefficients a0 a1 and a2 but to arrive at this final matrix you should first form the matrix x then you should take the transpose of the matrix x then you need to multiply with the matrix x take the inverse of this matrix multiply again with the transpose of the matrix and then multiply with the y matrix so these steps you need to carry out only then it is possible for you to arrive at the final matrix which holds the coefficient values so let us see the steps here first step is i am forming the matrix x here so matrix x will have the values that are given in the data set second column if you observe 1 2 3 4 these are the values for your product 1 4 5 8 2 values for the product 2 you are introducing one more column of all ones which is used to set the bias so now you have what three columns in this matrix uh, you are going to form the y matrix here y matrix has the elements given in the problem statement 1 6 8 and 12 so these two matrices you need to initially form you are going to hold the coefficient which is in the matrix a which are represented with a0 a1 and a2 
now let us see the steps here as i told you you are going to have the resultant matrix stored in matrix a or you can give any name so first let us take the transpose of the matrix transpose of the matrix is what all the row elements are written in the columns and the column elements are written in the rows so this is the transpose of x x is here 1 1 1 1 2 3 4 4 5 8 2 and transpose of x is 1 1 1 1 2 3 4 4 5 8 2 when you multiply these two the product of these two is 4 10 and 19 in the first row 10 30 and 46 in the second row 19 46 109 in the third row whatever you got is now the product of x transpose into x then the next step is you need to take now we are moving further first we did only the transpose then you multiplied this the third one is you need to carry out the inverse of this so inverse of this matrix so whatever is this matrix now take the inverse of this the inverse of this matrix is having these many values so you should be knowing how to compute the inverse of a 3 by 3 here you can check this is the 3 by 3 matrix computing the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix is quite easier compared to the 3 by 3 matrix so once you compute the inverse you will get these values then if you look here after you get inverse next thing is you need to multiply this matrix with the transpose of the x matrix so this is the next one so i am taking this the inverse matrix multiplying with the transpose of the x then you are going to have this matrix and the last step is remaining you need to multiply with y so whatever matrix you got here now this matrix you need to multiply with y so y is having the elements 1 6 8 12 you can check here this matrix is what this matrix is a 3 by 4 it is having 3 rows and 4 columns and this matrix y is having 4 rows and 1 column the resultant matrix will be what 3 by 1 so this 3 by 1 matrix is holding the values minus 1.69 in the first row 3.48 in the second row minus of 0 0.05 in the third row so the first value is representing your a naught the second one is representing your a1 and the third one is representing your a2 so these as i said the final resultant matrix will have the values of the coefficients a0 a1 and a2 now you can substitute in the equation multiple linear equation which is in the beginning i had written a0 plus a1 into x1 plus a2 into x2 so now you got the values for a0 a1 and a2 substitute here a0 is minus 1.69 a1 is 3.48 and your uh, a2 is minus of 0 0.05 so you can say that y equal to minus of 1.69 plus 3.48 into x1 minus of 0 0.05 into x2 is your multiple linear regression model. So if it is asked only to find the multiple regression model you can stop here otherwise suppose in the same question if it is asked to find out the value of y for new values of x1 and x2 then the new values of x1 and x2 will be given you can substitute in this equation and get the value of y so this is how the multiple linear regression model works in this example we have taken only two independent variables x1 and x2 there can be more than two also x1 x2 x3 so in that case your equation will be y equal to a0 plus a1 into x1 plus a2 into x2 plus a3 into x3 hope you find this helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel Thank you, bye bye and take care.